Welcome student. Here I am your SS sir. Today we will learn a new topic of paper CC8. Subject evolution. I hope you will watch it sincerely and if you have any query in your mind, please let me know through mail or WhatsApp. Today's topic is headed as a brief idea about selection. As much as I can rewind that the last lecture we have had is about the theories of evolution, where we have seen that natural selection is the driving force of the wheel of evolution. Now in today's lecture, we will look forward to assert how natural selection consistently causes adaptive radiation. Now what is adaptive radiation? It is a process in which organism diversified rapidly from an ancestral species into a multitude form of new species. So, we look into the first slide which is entitled as driving forces of microevolution. Uh, you have uh, already gathered some information about micro and macro evolution. So I will not talk it briefly about it, but I will go through the next points, which is as uh, which is referred to as genetic drift, gene flow, and natural selection. And, and why it is there? Because we have seen that there is some kind of misconception lies in evolutionary biology that people th thought that individual organism evolves but rather the truth is evolutionary impact of natural selection is only apparent in a new population when it changes over time mean when the whole population changes over time, not only the individual. Apart from the natural selection, there are two factors that drive the process of microevolution. Number one is entitled as the genetic drift and number two is gene flow. We will talk, uh, we'll talk about it later in this section. but. At first, we will start with natural selection theory and we will go a much deeper in this section. Alternation in chromosome structure such as deletion, inversion, translocation have severe effect that can persist over generation, allowing mutation to accumulate and have played a major role in evolution. And then, uh, organisms that reproduce sexually gather unique sexual genetic variation from their parents. From their parents, sexual reproduction suffers allele and pushes for a random mating. Gene pools and allele frequencies. A population's gene pool consists of all copies of every type of allele exist for a particular locus in a population. Now we will go some deeper knowledge which is entitled as Hardy-Weinberg principle and what is Hardy-Weinberg principle? Look, there is a scientist in 1908 uh, uh, named as Godfrey Harold Hadry uh, who with uh, William Weinberg, a German physician, independently derived a mathematical expression which is now called as Hardy-Weinberg equation. And uh, what is Hardy-Weinberg equation? Hardy-Weinberg equation, uh, we can follow Hardy-Weinberg equation only uh, when the following five type situation are arise. Number one, there is no mutation. 
नंबर टू देर इज नो चांस ऑफ रैंडम मीटिंग नंबर थ्री देर इज नो नेचुरल सिलेक्शन नोटिस इट देर इज नो नेचुरल सिलेक्शन नंबर फोर द पॉपुलेशन साइज शुड बी लार्ज एंड नंबर फाइव नो जीन फ्लो इन द पॉपुलेशन सो हार्डी विनबर्ग प्रिंसिपल कैन ओनली बी फॉलोएड वेर ऑल दो फाइव प्रिंसिपल मेट आवर वॉट यू कॉल एक्सपेक्टेशन बट इन नेचर दिस इज नॉट द थिंग इन नेचर यू नो ऑल स्पीसीज आर थोली इवॉल्विंग सो दंबर थ्री पॉइंट देर इज नो नेचुरल सिलेक्शन कैन नॉट बी हैपेंड इन जेनरल इन ए पॉपुलेशन दैट इज नॉट इवॉल्विंग एलिल एंड जिनोटाइप फ्रिक्वेंसी उल रिमेन कॉन्स्टेंट फ्रॉम जेनरेशन टू जेनरेशन साच पॉपुलेशन आर सेट टू बी इन हार्डी विनबर्ग इक्विलिब्रियम लिटरेली दो इन नेचर देर इज नो सच केसेस टू डिटरमाइन whether a population is in hardy winberg equilibrium all the alleles for a given locus from an individual in a population are placed in a large bin or you can um, set up a example which is uh, given here like uh, there is three type of flower one is red one uh, is pink and one is white and uh, okay uh, we should talk uh, before that uh, what is allele frequency and what is genotype frequency allele frequency can be derived as the number of copies of a specific allele in a population divided by total number of all, all alleles for that gene and genotype frequency can be derived as the number of individual with a particular genotype in a population divided by total number of individuals in the population Look in the example that let's consider a population of hundred uh, four o'clock plants, for uh, of which forty nine are red colour flower uh, with uh, composed of genotype of C capital R C capital R. Forty two pink flower plants with genotype C capital R C W, and nine nine white flower plants with genotype of C capital W capital W. Now let us examine the Hardy-Winberg equation in the population of four o'clock plants. If allele frequency of C R is denoted by the symbol P and the allele frequency of C W by P by Q, then P plus Q must be one. For example, if P is equal to if here look at here P is is point seven. How P is point seven? Because P means C R. So Um, we will take uh, 49 from the red uh, red flower plants and half of look at here uh, 42 pink pink flower pl uh, plants with genotype C R C W. So here is a portion of C R one half portion. So we will consider 49 plus 42 by 2. 42 by 2 divided by total number of population is 100. So It becomes that C R equals to seventy percent or point seven, seventy by hundred, seventy percent, or uh, you can call it point seven. P is equal to point seven, so the remaining Q must be point three. For a gene that exists in two alleles, the Hardy-Winberg equation states that P square plus two P Q plus Q square is equal to one. Uh, very same like the A plus B R B whole square formula. That is a square plus two ab plus b square. Here p square resembles the homozygous, two pq resembles heterozygous, and q square is the portion of hom homozygous which are recessive in nature. Now, now get back to our original topic, which is natural selection. natural selection as we see follows different kinds of patterns and these patterns are known as the selection 
it must be one. Uh, number one is headed as the directional selection. During this, individuals at one extreme of a phenotype range have greater reproductive success in a particular environment. Uh, what does it mean at one extreme? Look that example. Uh, CRCR capital homozygote, um, you can call it dominant homozygote and recessive homozygote and rest of the are heterozygote. So, both the homozygous condition CRCR and CWCW are the one extreme, two extreme of a phenotype. So, during this individual at one extreme of a phenotype have greater reproductive success in a particular environment only one not two not in this case example population of finches on a inland already has genetic variation that affects big size a common reason for diverse uh, di uh, directional selection is that a population may be exposed to a prolonged change in environment Next, stabilizing selection, a type of selection that favors the survival of the individual with intermediate phenotypes, that means the heterozygous phenotype and select against those with extreme phenotypes. Stabilizing selection tends to decrease genetic di diversity. An example of stabilizing selection is class size in birds, you get it? This is the example of stabilizing selection look at the graph it is a say, stabilizing selection and it is a directional selection at only one directional either homozygous uh, recessive or homozygous dominant and the third one is the disruptive selection it occurs only when the condition favor individual at both extreme of a phenotype range uh, look at the point both extreme of a phenotype range over individual with intermediate phenotype. One example is population of black bellied seed cracker finches in Cameroon. What happened? Seed cracker finches display two distinctly different big size. One, one which uh, feed on soft seeded, uh, soft seeded, uh, soft seeded small size and uh, one another is uh, which feeded on hard seeded. The intermediate size bills are relatively inefficient in cracking both type of seeds. So, disruptive selection uh, we, so, uh, we have seen that the disruptive selection only favors the individual at the both extreme not the intermediate phenotypes. Next there is two another uh, selection criteria uh, the first one is namely balancing selection balancing selection is in contrary to the natural selection uh, what does it mean the uh, balancing selection maintains the genetic diversity in the population uh, actually it is the opposite of the natural selection balancing selection goes on two uh, principle first the frequency dependent selection and the second one is the heterozygous advantage frequency dependent selection means the number of frequency uh, the number of individuals and the second one is the heterozygous an advantage that is the environment favor the heterozygous over either the corresponding homozygotes one classic example of the heterozygous advantage involves the hs allele of the human beta globin Gene. Next is sexual selection, uh, which is uh, a um, different from the balancing selection, and it is uh, we uh, we cannot say that uh, um, it is differ from the natural selection. But uh, how Darwin originally described sexual selection as the advantage that certain individual have over others of the same sex and specific species solely with respect to their reproductive rate. 
सेक्सुअल सिलेक्शन रिजल्ट इन प्रिवेलेंस ऑफ ट्रेड साच एस सेकेंडरी सेक्स कैरेक्टर देर इज टू टाइप ऑफ सेक्सुअल सिलेक्शन वन इज इंटर सेक्सुअल सिलेक्शन एंड अनदर वन इज इंटर सेक्सुअल सिलेक्शन इंटर सेक्सुअल सिलेक्शन कैन बी नोन एज मेड चॉइस वाट हैपन्स हेयर दैट यूजली फीमेल्स हु चूज देयर मेड इन मेड इंडिविजुअल ऑफ देयर सेक्स ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ सर्टिन डिजर्वेबल कैरेक्टर्स ए क्लासिक एग्जाम्पल वी कैन फाइंड इज इंडियन पी फाउल and then other one is the intersexual selection where member of one sex usually males here the member usually males directly compete for opportunity to mate with the individuals of the opposite sex example the enlarged claw of male fiddler crabs and there is also enough evidences that uh, uh people find uh, uh sexual selection can be a combination of both intersexual and intersexual selection uh, which is found in surface now look at the second point we have uh, talked earlier that is genetic drift and what is genetic drift genetic drift is a chance event a chance event that creates allele frequency to change unpredictably from one generation to another is known as genetic drift uh, what happened here uh, suppose uh, in the example you can see that uh, there is three type of flower one is red one, um, one is pink and one is yellow um, in the first uh, in the first block generation 1 frequency of p that means uh, the red flower and pink flower combination of both red flower and pink flower is 0.7 and frequency of q is 0.3 and if by any chance any cause some plants were removed from there or they leave the offspring so what happened in the generation 2 it's the second generation what happened the p frequency become 0.5 and q become 0.5 in the next generation third generation what happened p becomes 1 and q becomes 0 means there is no recessive condition it means there is the loss of phenotype is there is loss of gene flow loss of allele frequency genetic drift can be summarized as the following topics as number 1 the founder effect what is founder effect when a few individuals become isolated from a larger population to the smaller population the smaller group who, which uh, were migrated from a larger population and then establish a new population that is totally differs from the original uh, totally differed allele frequency composition from the earlier population so when this smaller group may establish a new population whose gene pools differs from the source population this is known as founder effect it means a few of spring who migrate from a larger population to a newer population and create their new established population and this is the founding principle is known as the founder effect is there an example number 2 that is uh, given as a image as bottleneck effect what is bottleneck effect a sudden change it is also sudden change in the environment such as fire flood any kind of environmental disruption that drive drastically reduction of the size of population a severe drop in population known as bottleneck effect and it is only driven by the environmental change not by the population not by any kind of uh, the parent population selection
here you can look that by um, original population two or three um, two or three samples were driven here and that is the surviving population the less less number of population uh, the effect is known as the bottleneck effect and here is an example greater prairie chicken um, the greater prairie chicken in uh, in that island the first uh, example is about uh, illinius uh, um, the first example is from the Illinius uh, in 1820. After that, in Illinius 1993, uh, after the happen, uh, happening of post bottleneck event, only less than per one percent grassland remaining with the greater prairie chicken. Now we will study the effect of genetic drifts what genetic drift does genetic drift is significant in small population and it can cause this allele frequency to change at random frequency number three genetic drifts can lead to a loss of genetic variation within the population as we have mentioned there and number four genetic drift can cause harmful allele to become fixed how look at the example if uh, that that is a very small uh, um, number of popular uh, number of individual which creates an individual number of uh, in, uh, in individual which creates their individual uh, population in a um, new place then if they carry then if, if they carry the homozygous recessive condition and uh, which causes any kind of uh, genetic disease so they will fo follow they they will have to survive they will have to uh, they will have to uh, pay for that genetic drift can cause harmful alleles to become fixed okay and the uh, next one is the gene flow natural selection and genetic drift are not the only phenomena affecting allele frequency the last one is the gene flow earlier we have seen uh, we have been seen we have seen that uh, how migration to a new location by a small group can result in a founding population in addition to that migration between two established population can also alter the allele frequency this transfer of allele in or out allele in or out of a population called gene flow where fertile individuals of more and um, fertile individuals of different population mo come more and more in number